Hello besties and welcome back. Welcome if you guys are new. It is your girl Jessie J here on this mic and this is Earth Vibes Tarot, your favorite Capricorn only channel. But you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, my love. Smash your like buttons, leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that y'all are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. We are going to dive on into this weekend reading for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is going to be September 13th, 14th, and 15th. We've got Friday 13th coming up, you guys. So let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through. Accept heaven's help. You've prayed for help, so get out of the way and let heaven help you. Capricorn. I love this energy. This is, this is a beautiful sight to see, uh, to be honest with you, because yeah, bottom of the deck is divine magic. This is talking about us just needing to get out of our own way. This is talking about us needing to really just allow spirit to, to bring in these blessings, allow spirit to bring in these new beginnings for us and allow for transformation to occur. And sometimes we can get in our own way as it relates to blocking our blessings right and we can we can block our own blessings when spirit's trying to give us these signs these synchronicities this energy this help this assistance and it isn't it isn't like clear to us so we think so we ignore it oh baby it's clear it's clear and it's coming in show us what we need to see here spirit for the weekend february 13th into the 15th we have the energy of flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others bottom of the deck is separation time apart from your partners on the horizon it really does feel like you guys are coming back into the game back into the dating pool putting yourself out there getting your energy kind of not really ruffling any anything just putting your energy back out there bottom of the deck separation codependency i feel like you guys have spent a lot of time really working through past situations really working through what hasn't worked working through struggles trials tribulations things things of that manner and it honestly feels like there's something quite beautiful that comes in here for you but once once again you have to allow this magic in you have to allow heaven's help into your life you have to allow this situation to flow so extend your lighthearted energy to others put yourself out there allow yourself to really feel um what spirit has in store for you here give us one more here please spirit for capricorn summer rising venus and jupiter September 13th, 14th, and 15th as it relates to career finances. As it relates to career and finances, thank you. Leadership. Bottom of the deck is legal. So we have you're stepping blah, 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 blah. you are stepping into a role as a leader. You are ready. Your career will improve once you accept and step into your power. You are following the crowd fear of putting yourself out there so yeah this is about you leading the pack and the pack is really just your own energy yourself leading yourself towards victory towards success towards glory and stepping into the role that spirit really has in store for you again that goes right back to putting yourself out there extend your energy to other people accept the help that spirit has in store for you by really allowing for this energy to come into your life by really really allowing for this this love and allowing for this this blessing this abundance to come in bottom of the deck being legal um your karmic debt has to be paid in order to redeem past mistakes seeking an expert especially if you're handling legal matters dealing with legal issues or life lessons so this may be something that you have recently gone through capricorn dealing with you know getting yourself in order dealing with like i said separating yourself from what no longer works and allowing for divine magic to really fill your heart fill your soul Trying to get your cards to go. 
<laughs> let's go ahead and pull some tarot here my loves let's see what energy spirit has in store for the weekend i love just using the traditional tarot just using different variations actually let's use this one all right show us what we need to see here please spirit as it relates to the weekend September 13th through the 15th, 2024, for Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Show us what you need to see here, please, for Capricorn. Give us nine cards here, please, sir. Give us nine cards here, please, sir, for Capricorn, September 13th until the 15th. Give us nine cards here, please, sir. Look at that Capricorn. We got the Devil, <clears throat> Hierophant, High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands, King of Wands, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Six of Pentacles. Wow. All right, Capricorn, bottom of the deck is the Five of Pentacles with the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I'm going to be honest. I feel like this is a situation in which you are going through a growth spurt, right? And it may hurt. It may be difficult. But this is about really expressing who you are, your truth, honesty, clarity. It's, it's in regards to... To that energy right and this is about you invoking a new level of self when we come over here we see the devil the higher font the high priestess three major arcana banging the fuck out come on i mean like you got back to back to back you got three major arcana coming out as it relates to accepting heaven's help here capricorn you are going through a pivotal moment this weekend this weekend is going to be huge for you right and it may just be starting this weekend or it may be really extending past the weekend but this is having a lot to do with breaking chains breaking free and this higher font energy is having a lot to do with what you believe in right and what you believe to be true and almost like a rule book right let's think of it like you have a binder it has information in it it has protocols it has um step-by-step -step details and those are the details that you have followed for i don't know how long right this is about breaking away from that in order to open yourself up to something new doing things in a different manner handling situations differently right you're really needing to listen to your intuition as it relates to the situation you're really needing to tap within yourself and listen and hear what is needing to be changed this is not like this is this this is this is an energy that people will either ignore or they will go towards it and i don't want you to ignore this it's going to be difficult it's going to be hard in changing how you do things changing how you live your life changing how you make decisions and trying to form yourself in a new way is difficult it's not easy but giving up on it 
is not ever going to get you to the point or the place that you want to be. This is why this is such a difficult growth spurt. And it's a growth spurt that hurts, right? There's pain, there's difficulty, and you're experiencing this in the physical realm. You are needing to really readjust your thought process and, and reestablish yourself and set yourself in a manner to learn how to how to do and how to live and how to move differently. With the Ten of Pentacles, there is going to be such a I mean, we see this with Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands as well. You're being asked to really extend yourself onto others. You're you're going to be meeting new people. You're going to be expanding your family, expanding your clan, expanding your friends, um, expanding your circle, so to speak. And this is going to be really establishing, creating a legacy um, and building some sort of brand or building some sort of collective right so this energy that's coming through here capricorn i'm gonna be honest the page of wands like you really have to to find some sort of inspiration feel this this energy of fire this energy of passion that's coming through and allow yourself to to take control right to to take to take on this energy and the king of wands is right after that so you are creating a, a basically a brand new reality for yourself if you allow it to be just that, right? And this extending your lighthearted energy to others, this love, this emotion, this is having a lot to do with how you feel. How do you feel? Capricorn, how do you feel? Do you feel the energy? Because if you do head towards it, is it gonna be difficult? Yes. But will you get what you put out? Yes, you will get that in return. You have the 10 of swords with the wheel of fortune here. You're going through a major reset as it relates to finances, career, all that type of stuff. Physical abundance. You're going through a major reset here and it's it's again it's having a lot to do with what you're letting go of here capricorn this is having a lot to do with what you're what you're rooted to um it's it's having a lot to do with you know how how we're raised and what we're taught and it's breaking certain pieces of that in order to learn grow and bring in new information that's going to help us now in this part of our lives in this phase of of our world of our reality it can be very hard to turn the wheel right as it relates to how we've done things for so long breaking habits um and, and allowing ourselves to really let new information and new ways to come into our lives six of pentacles allowing for this light allowing for this information allowing for these chances allowing for this sense of balance and harmony to really be planted into our lives it's hard and it's because of how major of a change that you're experiencing here this is this is literally your entire mental spiritual emotional world in in the manner of what you know it's all changing and it can be very difficult to, to adapt to that energy it can be very difficult to adapt and accepting heaven's help is going to be the one way accepting spiritual assistance ex um, accepting this knowledge this information that's being bestowed upon you is going to be the number one way that you're able to really ease yourself through this process but if you reject it you're going to feel almost powerless in a way that resort you back to how things were so let's go ahead and do a little clarifying
I feel like this message is very clear. It's 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 a matter of are you willing to accept? Um, are you willing to accept what has to change? Tell us about the Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords, Four of Swords, the Sun. Yeah, it's, I mean, <sighs> it's very hard to let go of knowledge and information that has brought us to a place that we are. It can be very difficult to allow for new information, new um, mo uh, motion, new energy, new ways of doing things to really plant itself into our psyche. It can be difficult because what we know has bought us to where we are. It's bought us happiness. It's bought us glory. But this is about reestablishing yourself, emperor energy, into a stronger position here in life and choosing to move forward in that stronger position. Wow. Tell us about this high priestess. The star. The eight of wands. The seven of pentacles. Wow. There is so much being given to you, but you may not necessarily see it. It's about allowing yourself to remain open and to trust the universe in your motion, in your moves, that you will be replenished. And it's about understanding that when you let go and through that trust, that things will grow, right? You, you have put your trust in the universe previously. It's about doing the same thing here and being free about it, right? Not, not having a sense of control, right? Knowing that if I pour into this, the universe will reciprocate by growing, right? And it's, <clears throat> I believe you can. I believe you can. I want to close this out here, please, Spirit. Capricorn, for a handful of you, removing certain habits and patterns is leading you towards an ability to really show who you truly are, attract in your soul tribe, attract in abundance, attract in these new beginnings that are leading you to glory. And it's leading you to a place of happiness and to a place of abundance. I'm gonna leave this here, Capricorn. I hope y'all found this insightful. And that it resonated if it did or if it does smash that like button leave a comment down below just don't forget to make sure you are subscribed and i'll speak to you guys in the next reading